cries daddy after he picked the wrong woman. A top jiu-jitsu fighter. A street robber ended up pleading for mercy from the woman he tried to hold up after she took him down in a jiu-jitsu move that held him in a leg grip until the police arrived. Footage posted yesterday shows a sobbing Wesley Sousa Diarjol screaming, crying for his daddy, and pleading for someone to call the police as Monica Bastos locked his neck in a triangle choke. It's alleged that the man and his accomplice had earlier approached Miss Bastros and another woman on the street in western Brazil, unaware that his would-be victim was a professional MMA fighter and jiu-jitsu blue belt. Miss Bastros, who has six professional MM fights on her record, launched a counterattack after the men cornered the women on motorbikes and demanded that they hand over their mobile phones. The fighter, 23, later explained how she took him to the ground in her rear naked choke before locking him in a triangle choke for 20 minutes until the police arrived. Miss Bastros told Brazil's IG website, One of the guys grabbed the mobile phone I was carrying. They didn't appear to be armed, so I knocked the motorbike to the ground. I wasn't afraid. I knew I could immobilize them. One of them managed to run away, so I got the motorbike driver with a lion killer, and I held him in my legs for 20 minutes. The lion killer is a chokehold in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, where the attacker wraps his arms around the opponent's neck, placing the crook of his elbow in his trachea. In a video filmed by an onlooker's mobile phone, Aruju is heard screaming out as Miss Bastros holds him in the lock and applies pressure to his neck. He shouts, Daddy, Daddy, call the police. Daddy, help, Jesus, I swear, it was the first time I've ever done this. Help, Lord, please, somebody help me. Where's my mom? Aruju was then arrested and taken to the police station, where he denied trying to rob the women, according to the report.